this is Pastor Dean again. You know, a couple of days we referred, in fact, every day we've, uh, we've been studying uh, for five minutes a day, we have referred to the Old Testament, which uh, the book of Joshua. And in it, I'm going to keep repeating it to you because I want you to go to this book, this Bible, go to Joshua 1.8, and you have to go to the throne room of God and say, listen, this is what you wrote. This is what the Holy Spirit put down for me to claim. God cannot go back on his word. God is truthful. He can't lie. Now, when you say, Father, I have faith in you, and I have faith in your word, and I believe that you're going to deliver on what you said. And I'm going to repeat it because it's your word, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this book, this book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. That's what you told me to do, Father. I am to recite it day and night. That's what you told me, Father. And carefully observe everything written in it. For then you will prosper. That's me. I will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. So if I use God's guidelines, I'm going to be all set. Sounds too good to be true. Let me tell you where people fail. Number one is if any little thing goes wrong in their 40-day walk to a miracle. If any little thing goes wrong, they say, well, God hasn't answered my prayers. That's what some people will do. Other people will not just, they'll just give up. They won't listen to the program. If it doesn't come instantly, uh, then they uh, discard everything. That's being a quitter. Now, I've got to keep repeating things be because if I keep repeating things, they will get into your heart. Number one, this formula that I am disclosing to you on television works. Everyone I have given it to, everyone who has studied it with me, has had their prayers answered. Now, the Word of God has got to be blended, welded, melded, whatever you want to call it, into your mind, body, and spirit so that it is the Word is one with you. I have faith in God. I have faith for God to get me a parking space. I have faith in God to cure my illnesses. I have faith in God to heal my wife. My wife's been very, very sick the past couple of years. And I believe that if it had not been for God, she would not be living today. I would not be living today. God wants to prosper us. He wants us to be happy. And he wants us to dedicate ourselves to his word. He wants us to make his word first in our lives. Now, for some of you, that's going to take some getting used to. Go to Joshua 1.8. Read that precious promise. Boy, I'll tell you something, that's putting God on the line. When he says that if you read <laughs> my manual here, my way of doing things, if you read and adhere to them to the best of your ability, you're going to be successful in everything you do. I know of people who've been waiting for jobs for years. They tried it God's way. In fact, to tell you, I'm going to give you a challenge. When you get up in the morning, first thing you do is genuflect, kneel, and say, thank you, Father, for giving me another day in the name of Jesus. And at night, genuflect, kneel by your bed and say, thank you, Lord, for giving me a beautiful evening to sleep. Thank God in the morning. Thank God in the afternoon. Thank God in the evening. It's already five minutes. I got to run. This is Pastor Dean. I love you. God bless you. Here's Pina.
Hi, this is Pastor Pina. Thank you for listening. Here is our address. See you next time.